open your vocabularies and write down new words there. Let's repeat them all together. Blood. Blood. Catch away. Catch away. Enter a competition. Enter a competition. Escape death. Escape death. Fit. Fit. Handle. Handle. Look bright. Look bright. Lose arm. Lose arm. Overcome obstacles. Overcome obstacles. Rank. Rank. Rush. Rush. Shark attack. Shark attack. Sharp pain. Sharp pain. Strike. Strike. Terror. Terror. Victim. Victim. Victory. Victory. There is a text on the sixth page in your students' books. And the title of this text is Fuck at it. And I'd like you to watch the video. And then answer a question. Answer some questions. Shark attack. Have you ever seen a shark? Do they scare you? Maybe not when they are in an aquarium. Bethany Hamilton is an American professional surfer who had a nasty experience with a wild shark. She has been a surfer since the age of five. And at the age of 13, she was eighth in the world for under 18s. On the 31st of October 2003, the 13-year-old Bethany survived a shark attack. She was waiting to catch a wave when she suddenly felt a sharp pain in her arm. Her friends took her to the hospital where she managed to escape death. Even though she has lost her arm, she is lucky to be alive. The most amazing thing of all is that three weeks after the accident, she was surfing again. She has promised herself not to let anything stop her from doing what she loves most. It was hard at the beginning because she had to find a way to pull herself up onto the board with only one arm. Her father, who is also a surfer, fitted her boards with a special handle at the front, which she used to pull herself up on them. Bethany entered several competitions, and she won the NSSA Nationals in 2005. She wrote about her experience in the 2004 book, Soul Surfer, a true story of faith, family, and fighting to get back on the board. A few years later, in 2011, a film called Soul Surfer came out in cinemas. It was about Bethany's inspirational story. The film stars Anna Sophia Robb as Bethany, and filming took place in Hawaii. Bethany has appeared on many television shows since the loss of her arm, and she still inspires people with her passion, courage, and determination. Have you heard Bethany's story before? Why not read her book or watch the film to learn more? 
I'd like you to do the second. Exercise in your work in your workbooks. And this uh, this third exercise in written form. Thank you for the lesson.